Hello, everybody. Welcome into Talking Pittsburgh on this Tuesday. Very wet May 3rd, 2022. Jeremy Crosby here. Hope you're having a wonderful day. Hope you grab the umbrellas. It's been a wet one out there and cloudy and every other uh, thing you want to say about the weather. It's been there. Uh, but uh, warm weather is on the way. And I saw it today and I was uh, out at a business before nine this morning the chamber and I leaned over to uh, my buddy Scott who's sitting next to me and I said hey there's a warm-up on the way he said no way <laughs> yeah it's happening and uh it's gonna get a little bit warmer after Mother's Day so we got to make it to Mother's Day then we're gonna start to see a warm-up I saw seven zero on the board that's all I'm saying seven zero anything above seven zero we'll take it right folks at this point you betcha. So, yeah, get excited uh, for that. Uh, as, uh, the weather uh, hopefully will get better here real soon. We've got a busy show coming up for you today. We're going to check in and uh, recap some of uh, Town of Madison. Uh, there were a lot of questions about the transportation. Madison Metro is working on a network or redesign for the transportation. We'll talk with Chad Brecklin uh, coming up. Plus, we'll check in with uh, CC at the Fitchburg Recreation Department, uh, get an update on what's happening here as summer gets a full four. She's lineup for you we are going to be go 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 to get you the information on what's happening at the rec department but first let's get you the headlines and uh, as warm weather starts to come alive so does the fitchburg farmers market that's right first smart outdoor farmers market is back it's this thursday this thursday it's gonna be so Live music and free tote bags as well, 3 to 6 p.m., 3 to 6 p.m. Every Thursday after that, moving forward, Fitchburg Farmer's Market is back. There's also some new vendors joining in this year as well. So get yourself down to the Farmer's Market. It's going to be a good time and just excited. that If that doesn't say summer, I don't know what does. As uh, far as Farmer's Market go, Farmer's Market vouchers, uh, Senior Center reminding you, starting in June, the Area Agency on Aging, AAA, the County will be distributing farmers market vouchers to older adults for using and purchasing fruit, vegetables, and herbs at farmer markets, uh, farmers markets, uh, and roadside farm stands in Wisconsin during the 2022 growing season. That's June through October 31st. The vouchers are distributed on a first come, first serve basis to those aged. Plus, who live in Dane County and have a gross income under $25,142 per year or $2,095 per month for one person household and $33,874 per year or $2,823 per month for two person household. One set of vouchers per household, regardless of the household size, they'll be distributed uh, by the mail. Individuals who receive vouchers last year will automatically receive them uh, and an application may by mail this year. If you wish to apply for the program and or update your address, contact AAA dietitian Shannon. She'll get you hooked up. Application or, or applications will be mailed out during the week of May 15th. Once you received and approved, your application voucher will be mailed starting on June 1st. Public library will be closed tomorrow. Uh, the Public Library will be closed for a special in-service day on Wednesday, May 4th. So if you got any library materials or library plans for Wednesday, going to have to either get there today or wait till Thursday as they have an in-service tomorrow. But when they return, uh, they'll have uh, some fun events coming back. Preschool art, butterflies. Get excited. I know Scott is. Friday, May 20th. He's because he's in the office here. He's so excited. Let's celebrate spring as we use simple techniques with dot markers to create some beautiful butterfly art. It's happening May 20th at 11 a.m. at the Fitchburg Public Library. All right, join the Fitchburg Senior Center celebrating Older Americans Month. This is such a cool event. And uh, reason we bring it up, well, we got to make sure if you're interested, you're over 90 and want to participate, that you get signed up because RSVP for this, you have to be by tomorrow. So let's tell you about it. All right, uh, the uh, Senior Center is holding the Celebrating Older Americans Month event. If you are 90 years or older or better, this party is especially for you. One of a kind, Wednesday, May 18th at the Fitchburg Senior Center. Uh, includes a photo of all the 90-year-old plus uh, right by 8, 1130 of the day. 
of the event. At noon, Mayor will make some comments. There'll be lunch, and following lunch at 12.30 p.m., the Pittsburgh Seniors take the stage for a special performance. But you need to RSVP for lunch and for the program by Wednesday, May 4th. That's tomorrow. So please, if you want to be a part of this, register right now, 608-270-4290. Give them a call and get your reservation in. Turning our attention, there's been a lot of talk about this. We've talked a little bit about here on the show, Andrew and I have. No Mo May is here. It sounds really cool when you say it out loud, by the way. No Mo May. As the sun starts to come up and the grass starts to grow, please keep in mind, no Mo May. This initiative has proven to help provide pollinators a substantial source of food and help their uh, po uh, populations thrive. That's a lot of population talk and pollination talk right there. In 2020, a sample of the Nomo May lawns in Appleton found bee populations increased five times and tripled the bee diversity compared to uh, nearby mowed lawns. Check your local government as many areas are suspending lawn mowing ordinances during the month of May. Well, the city of Madison has not waived that, and I don't believe the city of Fitchburg has either. Keep that in mind. Uh, you know, still, you could partake in this if you want to uh, and not uh, mow, uh, but check the limits. Got to remain under a certain, and I, I'll have to check into this and see what uh, ours is here in Fitchburg because it's a great, uh, great event uh, to part in and help uh, those bees thrive. All right, that does it for our headlines. Coming up next, we open up our digest. We'll be talking about the Town of Madison attachment and Madison Metro's net network redesign. Easy for me to say. That's all coming up next right here on TF. It takes all of us to slow the spread of the coronavirus. So follow guidance from authorities where you live and stay home unless absolutely necessary. Use a delivery service for essential items like food and medicine. If you must make essential trips, stay six feet apart from other people. Wear a cloth face covering and wash your hands for at least 20 seconds as often as possible. Visit coronavirus.gov for the latest information. Hey, boss. Okay. I said I'm fine. Hey, son. Hey, Bob. You know you can talk to me. We're all just trying to keep things running for those who rely on us. Ready? That's why we don't have time to be sick with the flu. And especially this year, no one has time to get sick. Get a flu shot for yourself and those around you too. Hello everybody, my name is Jeremy Crosby. I'm the host of Talking Fitchburg. And today we're going to be talking with the city administrator, Chad Brecklin. Chad uh, uh, been on uh, Talking Fitchburg many times uh, as the city administrator and, and other <laughs> other functions uh, prior to, but Chad, uh, thank you for taking the time today. Uh, how are you doing? I'm good, Jeremy, how are you today? I am doing wonderful. Uh, Chad, today we're gonna talk a little bit about uh, the recent Town of Madison uh, open house uh, meeting that we had. And uh, there were a lot of questions that were talked about transportation. So really we wanna spend our time today talking about transportation and and generally uh, what, what we're doing to answer some of the questions that came up. But uh, just on a quick recap, Chad, uh, for those who weren't in attendance at that meeting, uh, what did we share at the meeting uh, uh, for residents? And what do we want people to know about this attachment? Yeah, so uh, last week we did have uh, an in-person uh, public information meeting for Town of Madison residents and business owners. And that was an opportunity for us here in the city of Fitchburg to have each of our departments uh, introduce themselves and uh, provide a very brief overview of the services that they can provide to our uh, forthcoming residents uh, in the Town of Madison. And uh, also just provide an opportunity for the town of Madison residents to have uh, a face and a name of people that they can come and uh, talk to here at the city of Fitchburg if they have any questions or if we can be of assistance. And uh, it also provided that opportunity for question and answers 
uh, where residents could uh, pose questions to us or they could speak with department heads individually uh, at the conclusion of the meeting as well. Awesome. And uh, what, when we opened it up for questions, we uh, got a lot of questions about transportation. And uh, uh, ironically, it, it worked itself out that Madison Transit is in the middle of uh, a redesign project uh, that's going on. Uh, so I think a lot of people have questions about that uh, in uh, the, the Southdale neighborhood. Uh, so tell us, what is Metro working on right now uh, that's going hand in hand? It's not not part of the attachment, uh, but it is uh, happening here at the same time. Right, you are correct there, Jeremy, that we have a couple of uh, items happening simultaneously. And because these things are happening simultaneously, it does create the potential for them to be linked to one another and uh, for people to potentially feel like uh, one is happening because of the other or vice versa. And the two things that are happening uh, simultaneously is we have uh, Madison Metro is uh, in the process of evaluating its goals and objectives for service and making changes to its routes throughout the entire Madison Metro, uh, Metro uh, Transit Network, uh, which does include uh, obviously the city of Madison, but also includes suburban communities like Fitchburg. And uh, this process has been going on for, for several months, uh, if not longer, even closer to probably more than a year at this point in time, uh, where uh, Metro has evaluated, again, its existing services, uh, what the goals and objectives are for uh, changes to those services. And Metro has come out with uh, proposed routes uh, that would reflect uh, how they hope to accomplish their new goals and objectives with the transit service. Some of those route adjustments um, increase the frequency of uh, bus stops or bus runs, so to speak, or routes uh, to allow people to get uh, to where they want to go via transit um, quicker and more efficiently. Uh, there's also the consideration about implementing uh, bus rapid transit uh, in a couple of corridors, east, west, north, south within the Madison metropolitan area. And uh, one of the, the uh, byproducts of the route modifications is that uh, the bus stops and routes that people are accustomed to are likely going to be changing. And one of the impacts is that people may have to walk farther uh, to get to a transit stop. And that certainly was a topic of conversation at our public information meeting last week. Uh, the other simultaneous item that is happening here is uh, the town of Madison attachment to both the city of Madison and the city of Fitchburg. That was a, co a cooperative agreement that was signed by the three municipalities, the cities of Madison and Fitchburg and the town of Madison, all the way back in 2002, uh, when there was uh, the agreement that was reached at the town would dissolve and, and cease to exist uh, on October 31st, 2022. A portion of it would attach to the city of Madison and a portion would attach to the city of Fitchburg. So while these two things are happening at the same time, they are completely unrelated to one another. Um, but as I mentioned earlier uh, at our public information meeting uh, with town of Madison residents, uh, the topic of transit and specifically the adjustments to the routes in the Southdale neighborhood uh, was a topic of considerable uh, questions uh, and comments for the those in attendance. As far as moving forward, Chad, uh, we're certainly going to continue to provide a lot of information here about the attachment. Uh, but in the transportation side of things, there is a deadline uh, that is uh, sneaking up fast here for this redesign project. So unfortunately, we're at the later part of the redesign, but there's still time for public comment. Uh, and that's what we're trying to, we, we want to collect it, we want to share it. We've been doing it uh, with the city of Fitchburg. And again, uh, hearing from the residents uh, in the part of uh, the South Southland neighborhood that will be uh, joining us here as part of the attachment. Uh, we want to make sure that they know where to communicate that information. Where should they be sending those comments to at this point? So their best place to send those comments is going to be to Madison Metro uh, to make sure that those comments get there as we uh, are approaching that deadline, as you had mentioned. I would also encourage them to, con uh, to consider uh, including their elected officials in those communications, uh, the ones that they are currently served by in the town of Madison. 
And they can also include their future elected officials here in the city of Fitchburg, uh, which would include Mayor Richardson, uh, Alder Jay Allen, and Alder Shannon Strassman. Those are the three uh, primary elected officials that will uh, represent the, uh, the um, uh, Southdale neighborhood that's being attached to the city of Fitchburg. Of course, you can simply email the entire council if, if you would prefer to do that as well, in addition to sharing those comments with uh, Madison Metro. Uh, our engineering department is taking the lead in liaisoning with Metro in, on these network redesigns and our, our contract with Metro. Uh, I won't uh, expect that anyone will include our engineering department, but if you certainly include our elected officials uh, and or me, uh, we can ensure that uh, that feedback is also shared with our engineering department as well. All right, Chad, appreciate the time and uh, we'll point uh, people here in the right direction and keep your feedback coming in. Uh, we do want to hear from you for any questions related to the attachment and certainly if you have questions as part of the, the Metro redesign project to uh, as Chad had mentioned, uh, certainly you can reach out to Metro, but uh, we can also help you uh, find, at least get the information to the right, uh, right direction. Chad, thank you so much for your time. Appreciate it. We'll check back in with you real soon. Sounds good. Thank you, Jeremy. All right. We're going to take a short break. Coming up next, we'll check in with the Fitchburg Recreation Department. You're watching TF. You could be spreading the coronavirus without realizing you have it. So follow guidance from authorities where you live and do your part. It's important to limit in-person interaction with anyone outside of your immediate household, but phone and video chat are safe ways to connect. It's also important to limit any social gathering. This advice applies to people of any age, including teens and younger adults. Visit coronavirus.gov for the latest information. Our hearts are made stronger by how we treat others. Put her there. The light you share can impact those around you, but so can the darkness. Later, twerps! Did Pete saying mean things bother you? So when you reach out to another person, <laughs> take a moment to consider how they will feel and let your heart be the key to making a difference. Because of you, someone's entire day, year, or even life can change. In every heart, there's hope. Brandon met a girl on a dating app. He finally found the courage to ask her out. No answer. He started to panic. Was he being... Hey, sorry I didn't respond. I was driving. She must be a keeper. We're all just trying to keep things running for those who rely on us. That's why we don't have time to be sick with the flu. We don't have time for delays. Ready! We don't have time for spells. Next. We don't have time for setbacks. Let's be real. Getting the flu shot helps you fight the flu. Get a flu shot for yourself and those around you too. Welcome back into Talking Fitchburg. Join me today for the Fitchburg Recreation Department. We got CC. CC. I like the background here, CC. Where are you at? I am in the senior center in the Syene room. This room is rentable for meetings. <laughs> <laughs> and for uh, great interviews as well. So that That's works great. out really good. Yep. Um, uh, Cece, uh, uh, welcome back and uh, thanks for taking the time. Uh, we got a lot to get to today and we're going to start right in with uh, summer jobs. Uh, still got some openings if you want to join uh, the team uh, recreation department and help out uh, with our youth this summer. That's right. We've still got openings for program assistants. Those are the people that are working with our program coordinators to run our youth summer programming. Um, summer camps, some sports programs. Basically, you're going to be playing sports, playing games, doing crafts, activities, and having fun with the kids all summer. Uh, doesn't sound like anything better than that could uh, exist. So uh, get yourself signed up uh, for sure. And speaking of summer activities, uh, all the summer programming is out there for you to sign up. Yes, summer programs are open for registration. Um, pretty much everything is out there. There might be a few stragglers that get added late, but almost everything is open and ready for kids to sign up. So make sure you get on that. And also that you have the recreation scholarship fund available to uh, folks who need financial assistance. Tell us about that. Yes, so our scholarship fund is for um, anyone who lives in the city of Fitchburg or in the Verona area school district. This is for any age. 
um, we've got resources if you need financial assistance to be able to participate in one of our programs. So please visit our website. We've got a page up there that has directions on how to apply. And uh, also the wait list. Uh, if there may be a wait list. Things fill up fast. But uh, as you have mentioned in past interviews, that's okay. You should get on the wait list because your time might come up. Yes, we might have someone drop out. We might end up having enough staff to be able to add people from the wait list or enough interest to start a new team. So definitely, if a, even if a program is full, put yourself on the wait list. That way we know there's interest. Fantastic. Let's turn to uh, some of the sports that uh, you got coming up here. Uh, and uh, it is uh, tis the season for baseball. It's back. Uh, tell us what we got going on. That's right. Baseball is coming up fast. We have got T-ball, coach pitch, machine pitch, and we also have softball for girls. Um, obviously, girls and boys can sign up for any of the programs. Um, softball, generally speaking, is just for girls, but any gender can sign up for any of these programs. Um, and that is going to be starting here pretty quick, end of May, beginning of June. So if you are interested in playing one of those sports, then you need to get signed up ASAP. Sounds good. I, I always love playing baseball in the rec program. It was a lot of fun. So definitely want to get yourself signed up for that. How about tween summer re or t I almost said reading program running club, the teen, I can't even say it tween summer running club. That's just a tough one to say. Yeah. You know, I leave the reading to the library people. They, they know that one best, <laughs> but you know what I know about it's running. So we are starting a new program that tween summer running club um, brand new this year. It's aimed at middle schoolers. Basically, we're going to work on individual fitness. We're going to do it through uh, drills, games, uh, workouts. Um, we're going to have fun. And then at the end, we're going to culminate in a race at McGaw Park on the trails. So we'll see where we've, uh, you know, where we started and where we, where we're going. <laughs> where we're going. <laughs> love it. Love it. Uh, all right. Uh, transitioning from running uh, to a racket sport, uh, tennis lessons, uh, all are welcome. Yes, yes, we have got tennis lessons for as young as four years up to 16 years old. So we have got a lesson for any age um, of youth. So uh, those are two sessions, one in uh, June and July, and then a second session from July into August. Um, you know, something that is taught by skilled high school players. Um, who are on their high school's tennis team that are going to share their skills with the uh, younger kids. I, another sport that I played from the recreation department and you get your fundamentals. And I mean, I played, uh, I never played competitively or anything, but we played after school at, with big groups all the time and had a blast. So uh, certainly another fun one to get into. You also have team tennis. Yeah. So it's a little bit of a twist. So at the beginning of the season, um, it's going to be just practices over at McKee on Wednesdays and Fridays. But then when we get a little bit further into the season, this is for the full summer, we start traveling to other communities. So um, I believe like Verona, Wanakee, so in the Madison area still. So not going too far, but um, yeah, a chance to get out there and play some other kids from different communities. Ooh, I like it. All right. Uh, this is really turning the page here. Uh, fencing camp. That's right. Yes. Fencing camp is back. This was wildly popular last summer, totally filled <laughs> up for both age groups. So um, if your child wants to try something new and different, who doesn't want to pretend that they're in parts of the Caribbean playing with swords? All safe. Of course, we have proper safety equipment. So um, and uh, certified instructors as well for these programs. So a lot of fun. I, I heard certified safety. <laughs> it's certified all, safety it's all good. swashbuckling, the three S's, Jeremy. <laughs> that, that make recreation run. I like it. That's right. Uh, all right. Yeah, get signed up. That one you might want to uh, definitely uh, get, get on right away if you say it, it filled up as fast as it did. So glad to have it back then too. Uh, dance, uh, a staple of the Fitchburg Recreation Department. You still got a variety of dance uh, programs offered up. That's right. We are offering ballet, jazz, and lyrical this summer. Um, and ballet includes pre-ballet for the younger kids. Um, so that's going to be for ages anywhere from three all the way to 12. Um, so, you know, if you want to escape the heat, come hang out in our air-conditioned community center to take some fun dance classes. Oh boy, don't set us up for that. What if it breaks or something? Then we're going to be in trouble uh, saying it's air conditioned there. JCC, what are you doing? No, I was kidding. It's going to be great. Going to be great. Um, how about uh, programs uh, and partnerships uh, with? You got some good partners this year. 
We do. So um, our fencing program is also in partner with this um, company. It's YEL Youth Enrichment League, and they bring a ton of fun STEM or just kind of unusual programs that um, we wouldn't be able to offer otherwise. So we've got um, Varsity Builders Camp. That's working with Legos and like building um, building robots type thing. Chess Camp. Uh, we've got a rocketry camp. We've got um, coding and we've got project runway even so if your child's interested in learning how to use a sewing machine and making some projects that could be for you but you know everything is uh super fun you know something different something different for the kids it's interesting stuff something different something fun that's what it's uh, all about at the uh uh I almost said senior center that you're at the senior center at the recreation department. Uh, finally, uh, for we've talked about kids, let's get one adult program in here. Yoga for all levels uh, still available. Yes. Yep. So we have got yoga for all levels. That is going to be uh, two sessions going on in June. One of them is the standard session at the community center, you know, after work five to six, five 30 to six 30, sorry. Um, but we're also adding another session in the park at Tower Hill Park. That's going to be from 9 a.m. to 10 a.m. Um, and that's, again, going to be in the month of June on Tuesday or Thursdays. Sorry, Tuesdays is the indoor session on Thursdays. So uh, check out our yoga offerings if you want some of the indoor or even something outdoor. Whew. Okay, that was a lot of programs that we just went over in a very uh, short amount of time. Uh, for folks who are like, what Wait, where do we go to sign up for all these amazing uh, opportunities? Uh, how can we learn about and find out more, CC? Yes, to view all of our programs, you can go to fitchburgwi.gov backslash recreation and then click the big button that says view programs and register here. Fantastic. CC, thank you so much. Great planning uh, in that department and some uh, awesome programs. Uh, so excited. Get the summer off and running awesome. Yes, we are excited and we are very much looking forward to seeing everyone again. Yeah, I, absolutely. It's, uh, it's time. All right. Thank you so much, CC. We appreciate it. Yep. Thank you, Jeremy. You bet. Again, head out to our website, pitchburgwi.gov. Click on recreation and get yourself or your kiddos signed up for some fun summer activities uh, or, I mean, robots. That's all I'm saying. All right. We'll take a quick break. More to come. You're watching Talking Pittsburgh see on page four that the projections need to be blood next thursday seriously thursday can't do that uh-uh this is really inconvenient i have yoga that day i have no time for this so i can't do thursday but i can do friday disasters don't plan ahead you can talk to your loved ones about how you're going to be ready in an emergency don't wait communicate Type 2 diabetes can have a big impact on your life, but how can it be prevented? Well, the first step is knowing if you have prediabetes, a serious medical condition that puts you at high risk for type 2 diabetes. One in three American adults has prediabetes, but more than 80% don't know they have it. The good news is, prediabetes can be reversed, and for many people, healthy changes in their daily routine can make a big difference. Take the one-minute risk test today at doihaveprediabetes.org. If you love them enough to suck the snot out of their nose at 4 a.m., then surely you'll check NHTSA.gov slash the right seat to make sure they're in the right car seat. Welcome back into Talking Fitchburg, wrapping up the show. I want to thank CC for the Fitchburg Recreation Department. Whew, that was a lot of activities, and there's still a lot more out there. You can just check out our website, fitchburgwi.gov backslash recreation. Get yourself signed up with an account. You can also do reservations for the shelters, which are filling up fast as well for the summer. So you can't tell that everybody's just like dying to get outside and get going. I'm, I'm just saying, and there's so many fun things happening. And we got to try that fencing class, Andrew. Maybe we can work on digital fencing. Okay, I know nothing about fencing, so that's clear. <laughs> Have a great evening, everybody.